exciting call this morning that all of the, our eight parts are in. Well, not all of them. We got the whole fam in the car because you know, your girl can't drive anymore. Where do you know to go? Oh, it's just here. Oh yeah. TJ came and grabbed me and was like, I'm bringing all the parts, you gotta film me, put him in the back of the truck. Yeah, I was uh, trying to take a look at that and tell them what it, what the stuff was, but I don't know what any of it is. Hello, you little peanuts. I did not expect these parts to get in as soon as they did. So before we start installing things and get this car back on the road, we need to see what we have and what we are still waiting on. I was told we had nearly everything but the airbags, but after going over the list of things and looking at it, we're still missing a few vital components. We're still missing the front lower control arm, the front upper A arm, the rear upper A arm, our new front drive shaft. We also got this, which is pretty cool. We could throw this in today, but I don't know if we will. This is the pyro fuse. This is the switch in the car that pretty much bricks the car once it thinks it's in an accident. This fuse right here, once that gets placed in, we'll be able to take out our Bobo bridge connector that tricks the car into firing. We also got our new front bumper in as well. But I did notice that some of the pieces that I did get are actually incorrect and you can't refund them. So we are gonna get screwed on that aspect. But I'm gonna have to go back to Audi at some point and bring in pictures of what I need to cross reference it so we can get a new updated parts list. While we were figuring all this out, we got a special package from our boys at Tank Tools. They brought us the top. You don't understand how heavy this was. We couldn't film it. We needed three men. Dut the gorilla came. There's nothing in them because they're all right here. I wanted to put them in in front of you. We got a whole bunch of extra bits. I don't need. I don't even. Tang know just it. I send them constant it. love, nonstop. Nonstop. Big shout out to Tang. This life save. We needed this for the transmission on the 370. Got it now, baby. So this video is actually gonna be filmed in multiple days. We're not gonna start putting the rest of this stuff back until we get all of our suspension arms, but they should be here about Monday. July 31st, Hunt Co. is gonna have our summer collection drop. We got hats, we got bathing suits, we got tank tops, we got t-shirts, we got koozies. We got so many things dropping in July 31st. Follow the Hunt Company on Instagram right here to stay up to date with everything. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Well, we're basically on the home stretch. Today, we're gonna take out all of the suspension components, all the bent pieces, and put them in, okay? TJ, show them what you got. So as you guys saw a few days ago, we picked up all the pieces from Audi, but we were missing a few. Well, today, all of them came in, so let's go over it. We have the front right lower control arm. We have a new rotor. We have all the upper arms. We have a spare axle. We have new radiators. Every suspension component that is bent and needs to be replaced is in our possession. So our job today is to try to swap over for everything to all the new suspensions so this car can roll on itself so we can take it to the frame shop. This brake and this brake rotor, because this has to be changed due to this gnarly crack. I don't want to know how much that I'm costs. not looking forward to know. Well, it's five grand, but we got ours used for 1400 bucks. And ours is from an Ericom, which is pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. Half off. Half off, baby. Half off. What's cool is all these like upper A arms and A arms and stuff don't use a through bolt. They just use two bolts going into the frame, which make our job really easy when replacing them. Changing stuff off the hub, doing all that stuff, I think is going to be a little bit of a nitty gritty job. A little spicy. But I don't think it's anything we can't handle. Teach. In there, that's not it's fine. fine, bud. I'm sticking my hands in there, that's not fine. 
Dude, burn the car down. It's not fine. Everything that we have so far for the front suspension has been replaced. Unfortunately, I just realized that we do not have the end of the tie rod here that connects into the hub, which allows it to steer. So they actually have this part locally in LA, so we're gonna have it tomorrow. And we're not gonna put the rotor back on until we have this back on, because it's gonna make our life a lot easier. But everything was replaced, so that's super good. Before we move on to the rear, Calvin and I actually are gonna try and tackle putting in the new pyro fuse. And then we think we can hang this radiator on here. The thing what's stopping us from doing that right now is the skeleton frame that connects onto the right hand side of the car the tab on which like really secures all of it is still pretty screwed up so i think until we get that welded at the frame shop we might be able to put the radiator back in and just zip tie it up kind of like we have this ac condenser zip tied up because if we have the radiator in we can actually close the coolant system and we can actually put coolant in the car and just knock that off the list the pyro fuse is what's bad in the front of the car i'm gonna replace this today and put everything back in so when we go to drive this car everything will be buttoned up and looking good i our temporary solution was just to bridge this. So what happens is the pyro fuse explodes, disconnects these two so that the car, the starter doesn't go again. We made a temporary solution to bridge the two to test a car to see if it works and turns on. It does, which is awesome. But now we're gonna replace it so we don't have to do bunk methods. Done. Now I just gotta put lay nuts back on. So moving on to the rear side of the car, we have a few new arms, but actually, once I was looking at this, I don't know if we're gonna need to replace everything that I originally thought, because again, once I'm looking at it, the lower control arm is obviously destroyed, and then this like toe arm, I guess that's what this is, that is obviously destroyed, and you can actually see that it's hitting into the rear parking brake caliper. So getting this off is gonna be a little bit tricky because we can't really remove everything like we did with the front because we're literally limited in some areas. So in a perfect world, we'll be able to drop just the lower control arm, swap it for the new one and swap this out and we should be good focusing on the should because we we also might be screwed have to take everything off we're just not sure yet It's not supposed to look like that. That is what it's supposed to look like. So weird discovery that we just came across that I thought was pretty interesting to know because it's one of those weird R8 things. To get the uh, rear strut out, there's a bolt on the top and there's a bolt on the hub. The bolt on the top is actually not accessible at all. The only way to get to it is by coming up top and removing this air intake piping. And once you pull that out the way, there's actually gonna be a straight shot here where we can get a long, deep socket and an extension and get to the strut bolt. And then you have to thread a huge extension all the way through the rear portion of the car, which is kind of crazy because you have to remove the rear bumper and all, like everything just to get to this. This is like the grunty part of the whole entire series where removing all the damaged pieces is kind of tough because there's so much like pressure 
on certain points where there's not supposed to be and it's just, it takes a lot of muscle and, and the work that you don't enjoy doing. That's the part that we're in right now. Why does bull even come out? There it goes, now it's out. From many moons ago, working on Danny's car, the Mazda has a particular way of mounting the strut into the lower control arm. Basically, a pinching system. There's a special tool that you can buy that's called a spreader. Oh, I got one of those. You could technically use an Allen key to spread it. Just enough to where it'll release and you can pull it out. In your years of experience with spreading, Cal, how difficult is this spread on a scale of one to spread? Full spread? It's just a good spread. Uh, okay. Just a good above average spread. Just a good spread. So like a seven. Just a good spread. So Cut. he's putting an Allen key that fits inside the gap and then, and then he's it. just twisting it so that when the Allen key rotates on its edge, it spreads it just enough and you can slip it out of the joint. Pretty smart, actually. So looking at these two upper A-arms, originally I thought the A-arm that was in the crash was okay, and it kind of looks like it, but once you have it with the new A-arm, which is the one on the bottom, Calvin actually saw when it was on the car. The A-arm actually bends just a little bit. Both of these edges should be parallel to each other, and the top one actually bends in a little bit. Pretty hard to tell on camera, but shout out to Calvin for having a good eye because I almost ran this one, and, and we would have been chasing an alignment issue indefinitely until we realized that this A-arm was destroyed. So now that, that one is out, we can go ahead, throw in this new one, and check it off the list. It's pretty much done for today because we came across this bolt. This bolt is what connects the rear tie rod to the rear hub, and if you look at it, it is completely bent and won't re-thread in correctly. We can't finish putting the rear together until we have uh, this bolt, but luckily Audi has it in stock, and we'll be able to go grab it tomorrow, and we'll be able to move on with the rest of the car like ASAP. So we're gonna be flying through really quick. Also, tomorrow, I'm gonna be dropping off the air bags and the seat and the headliner to Oscar at SOS so they can fix that up. Before we leave the shop, I want to give you guys a rundown on what's dropping July 31st because there are a ton of things. There actually are a million new things that I want to show you guys. So first we have four new hats. We haven't had hats in quite a long time and we've had a big request for dad hat. So we have three new dad hat colors. Everyone loves the pink. A lot of people like the white, but a lot of people like the black. So we did the black one to keep moving forward on the bill. We've really been wanting to do this for a long time. So I'm glad we finally went for it. Something that I'm really proud of is we've been working on these rubber labels for a pretty long time and it's not a patch or it's not screen printed or anything. It's actually a rubber label. I probably can't see too much on this camera, but it's amazing. And this hat I've been rocking a lot recently. It's the trucker hat. It's my favorite new era style hat. And again, we have that rubber label on there. And in person, it just looks phenomenal. It wouldn't be a summer drop if we didn't have a booze bundle. That's what we're calling this. We'll be able to buy this in a bundle package. It's a keep moving forward Hun Co koozie, as well as these bottle openers. It has a pretty good weight to it. And you can open a bottle on the side right here. Definitely one of my favorite little bundles we have. Again, it's summertime. We're all on an adventure. So if you don't have a fanny pack, you're gonna be missing out. Our stainless steel water bottles were one of our most popular items last year. We even did two reorders. So this year we brought back three new styles, but this time they have the straw lids. So you can get a good suck. Three new colors all dropping with everything else. Without shorts, it wouldn't be summer. So we have two new pairs of shorts. We have our heather gray, and then we also have it in the black that I'm wearing. Also have the same thing available for the ladies in a darker gray, so you guys can be matching. We brought back our bathing suits from last year in a darker gray, but added the patch that we put on the trucker hat. So you have that same rubber material. Three new t-shirts also dropping as well. We had such a good response with our tie-dye. We did a different style on these tie-dyes. They're called half drip. Half the t-shirt gets tie-dyed from white the black. We have this in a tank top and in a t-shirt. There's also a secondary tank top that goes from red to black, which is really cool. And additionally, two more t-shirts that are dropping, which is the one I'm wearing right now. And we have the Hunt Bolt one, which you guys have seen me wear in the last few weeks. Uh, I know you're probably like, Tej, what about the jet tags, bro? You're always out of jet tags. We're adding about five to seven new jet tags, all dropping July 31st, thehuntingcompany.com. You can follow the Instagram here and be ready to go live at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Y'all know the drill. It's been a long day of working on that R8 and I'm absolutely wiped, but I have to sit down right now and edit the video because we have a uh, trip that we're gonna be taking with Kevin for a certain car that we're going to buy and we're gonna be flying out in the morning. So I need to get all of this done as soon as possible so I can wake up early and get that done and make sure we're ahead on the videos. So I'm gonna jump to editing this stuff now. But again, guys, I wanna say, if you made this far in the video, please give it a thumbs up. When you guys like the videos, it helps out the videos and the channel so much. It does a tremendous amount of effort on getting our videos in front of new viewers 
which helps our channel grow. So if you want to aid us in doing that, please like the video and leave a comment down below. We still have so much more to do with the RA, a bunch more parts to swap out, and we still have the frame. There's, I don't want to talk about it because it literally stresses me out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And keep moving forward. What is this? Me looking at the shit like I have any idea what it actually is. Oh. We have, uh, what? Yeah, of course, man. I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> I, I hit up my little cousin and I was like, bro, I think he's here. Oh, that's awesome, and, dude. Like, it's so sick, bro. I, I just can't believe awesome, it. Awesome, man. Want to say a shout out to the vlog? Hell yeah. <laughs>